We've been wondering for the past few months what was going to happen with Netflix and, or sorry, with WWE's Raw TV deal. SmackDown landed on USA Network. We had uh, CW get NXT. People said it was going to be Amazon. People said they might go to USA Network. People said they might go to TNT, uh, Time Warner. None of that happened. No. They they did a full 360 left Brother. and went to Netflix. WWE Raw for the next 10 years. I had to remember. Ooh, that was is it 10? I didn't realize it was that big. Next wow. 10 or is it 10? Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 10. Hold up. I, I'm, it's, it's either 5 or 10. I believe like, No, here's the thing. It, it's a 5 and a 10. And I don't want to get my... My numbers mix up. I'm pretty sure it's ten. It's ten years, five billion dollars. Okay. Um, let's let me just make sure of this. There we go. Ten year agreement, five billion dollar deal. Which part of that deal brings Monday Night Raw exclusively over to Netflix? But it doesn't end there, Trevor, because there's a whole hell of a lot more to this deal. In addition to this, part of this larger $5 billion deal is that all of the international rights to PLEs and WWE programming internationally, so Canada, South America, all across the world, going over to Netflix. So you won't be able, if you're watching in the UK, England, wherever, you won't be able to watch it on the network anymore. You're going to have to get Netflix. That changes the entire calculus for sure a lot does. of these companies and, and sorry, a lot of these countries and the way they view wrestling. And I think in the in the long run, this will really change the way that we all kind of of view wrestling moving forward. It's the first time we've had a deal of this kind where uh wrestling or any like major sport um outside of Thursday night football has gone to a streamer. And nope. here's the kicker, Trevor. Commercial free, live we're all going to assume the day is still Monday. However, Netflix could come in and say, hey, I'll, hey Thursday. We don't want it on Monday. Let's oh, put it on I Tuesday. Saturday night, Saturday night, Sunday <laughs> night for fighting. Like, Saturday night raw. That's, yeah. Could be. Trevor, your reaction to this news. There's a hell, hell of a lot more to talk about, but initially Dude, your reaction huge. to the news. This is huge for, for wrestling. This is huge for Netflix. This is huge for... The endeavor. This is huge for every everybody involved. Like like you said, one is going to be one of the first commercial free wrestling shows. Commercial free wrestling shows, which makes that three hours fly by. It makes it makes it fast. First off, uh, I, which we I can, apologize. I, I I hate you know I hate interrupting you, but my God, you're gonna make three hours fly by commercial free. Do you know how I mean, many how many recaps we're gonna get on this show if it's still three hours? Dude, all of <laughs> there's gonna be so many, dude. Like, oh, I think he just took a walk. Let's recap that. <laughs> like, I think he actually took a drink from his water. Let's recap it. Like, it's gonna be so many recaps, it's ridiculous. They're gonna review everything, which I mean it could make it more interesting. I mean, it could make it more personal. Um, you can make the show a little more personal. You can do more backstage things, you, which is what they're going to fill the time with, of course. More backstage thing, presence, more behind-the-scenes, quote-unquote, type presence. It's it's going to be very interesting what they do with this. I mean, this is huge with WWE. This is even bigger for Netflix. Like, Netflix has, has had the history of not being able to keep a show on longer than a season. So, and they've done that with several different shows. I mean, it, of course, it was pandemic and writer strikes. So it was not exactly their fault, but still, let's see what they do with this. With the writer strike, it was a little bit their fault, but um, a weave, a wee bit. Um, but you, you're right, and and I think you know, like like, and I think one thing, question I had for you immediately is like, as someone who like you know, you've been watching wrestling like way longer than like some of us have been alive and that's not me trying to not me taking it no, this is the like, truth, truth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah but uh, like like i guess you know the and the question is like raw, raw traditionally and what i've like kind of like 
come out thinking about from this deal is like WWE and, and Raw traditionally is like a much older audience compared to like, you know, uh, AEW, right? For example. Right. And, you know, my, my question is like, how is that older audience that has, you know, like watching Happy Start a Thing, like people sitting down every Monday night, 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. whenever watching Raw, like they've been doing it for 30 years and they've been yeah. doing it on cable. And my question, like the question that goes through my mind is like, how is that going to impact like the current viewers of Raw? Are they actually going to, you know, go over to Netflix if they haven't subscribed already? Because if you're Netflix, you're not shilling out $5 billion for anything unless you're right. trying to get new people to sign up. This is not a retaining people honestly, thing. This yeah, is a, I, I totally agree with that. Yeah, but like, anyway, so just... Like, do you, how do you think that's going to work? Do you think it's going to be effective? You know, I was. It, it's funny you say that. I, I feel like sometimes the questions you ask, like you're directly in my head, because I was just really just I was thinking about that all day. Like, like you're used to something, you're used to a routine. Um, the Raw has been on uh, a couple of different networks, but it's been on USA the longest, and. Like, since I can remember, since what, what like 94, 95? It like, was on USA to begin with, man. Yeah. Those yeah. Was, so, like, 94, 95, something like that. Like, like, I remember every Monday, like, sitting down with my brother, just watching the Bobby the Brain Heenan and everyone talking, and then, like, you see the action. And then later years with um, Jerry King Lawler and Vince McMahon and <clears throat> JR and countless of other people that you know go through the doors and it's just i mean it's nostalgia being on the on usa that's why so many people were so happy once it went back i mean it was on spike it was on tnn it was that's why so many wrestling fans were happy when it went back to usa you know nostalgia the factor and everything and going back home pretty much the home of monday night raw now with like it being on a screen that were first and foremost, Netflix, extremely smart, wonderful deal. What made a great, made a great move with getting it, um, being, you know, being a, a episodic every, every week. Now with WWE, it could go one or two ways. One, I think you're going to get a lot of new younger fans that have Netflix and are Netflix faithful and I'm gonna, you know, watch it more. And there are some older folks like myself that might check it out more as you know, just to see what Netflix has. But I think you I think what you're gonna do is see is a lot of people doing like we do and watch the recaps on YouTube. Cause I, I don't think a lot of people are gonna like subscribe just to Netflix just to watch Monday Night Raw. And and that you make a really good point, right? Because let me just as of right now. So you just one thing we didn't cover was this deal. And I'm sorry if like we're going. I know we're going like very unorganized here. There's just so much information about this deal that, yeah. that it's it's and it's been coming out like all day and it's coming out there. So, yeah. but like you just made me think of one thing, Trevor. I'm gonna read through the Netflix pricing tiers. Okay. Because now, and you make a really I mean, good point because there's a lot of people. I've been thinking is up earlier. There's a lot of people who already watch wrestling, like basically in clips on YouTube. And I think when you look at some of these prices just for Netflix, it's going to be, oof, they're going to be definitely some people. So standard Netflix with ads. Uh, and of course, by the way, I want to pre as a precursor to this, we don't know whether or not raw is going to be an add on to current like Netflix subscription. Cause remember what does right. the UFC yeah, do, right? Idea. The UFC for their pay-per-views, you not only have to be a subscriber to ESPN Plus, but then you have to pay like the $80 or whatever. I'm not saying Raw is going to be $80, but they could be like, no. hey, extra $5 a month and you get Raw if you're a subscriber. It would be, yeah. Standard now, with see, ads. I was wondering why I didn't go back go to Peacock because they already have a deal with Peacock. So I thought, you know. Well, I mean, I, I have a theory about that. Um, it, Well, it's not a theory. I, I have like a one reason why I think – that may have happened. Um, but before I do that, let me just read off these tiers. So for standard with ads, $7 a month. For standard with 
<laughs> less ads, uh, it's 1549 per month. And for mm-hmm. premium, $23 per month. Jesus. <laughs> you talk about cord cutting, Trevor. You might as well. They might as well. Cable cable at this point is going to be cheaper. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, and again, a lot can change in a year. Remember, Netflix just spent $5 billion on this. They're going to be like, ooh, 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 they're definitely going to join. We're going to get $25 a month. <laughs> like, they are going to go ham in, in, in trying to get money out of us. It's going to be crazy. But, Trevor, that is a lot of money. Like, like people, people I know people are going to, like, look at it and be like, oh, well, that's $25 is not that much money. I'm like... Man, twenty five dollars. You don't one. You don't know where people are in their lives, because like I've definitely been in the place. I've been in a place where twenty five dollars, man. That's the difference between me eating and not. Like, yeah, that was like, all I had at one point. You know what I mean? So I, I get it. You know what I mean? Man, there, there's some days. There's like there's been some days where you're like, I wish I had twenty five dollars in my bank account. Like, so. <laughs> So, like, I mean, and that's not, like, me trying to hyperbolic, uh, hyperbolically state something. That's just the truth. It's like, some people don't have the money to pay $25 per month and budget that yeah. out. So, instead of doing that, what are they going to do? They're going to go to YouTube. They're going to go to, like, random streaming sites, like, you know, illegal streaming sites and watch wrestling. Like, a lot of people already do. So, yeah. that is the gamble, though, with, with this deal. It, it, that's what I'm trying to, like, I guess get across. That is the gamble with this deal. Because you have to, if you're Netflix, you have to, of course, I think you're going to get some level of, of people signing up for the platform, but you, ha- you have to make sure you don't price them out because if you price them yeah. out and if you piss them off too much, bro, sometimes like, Hey, I love me. You, you know, I love me a lot of things. I used to love, uh, wa- I used to love watching like WWE when I couldn't afford the network. You know what I did? Stop paying for it. And this is ironically back when the network was shit uh, or when WWE yeah. was not booking well. So, you know, like, like these are things that like we talk about. These are things that are, that are going to happen over the next little while. I, I think I really do hope, though, that they don't raise their prices too much because, man, twenty five dollars a month. Imagine paying that just for wrestling like that is like some people are going to do it. And that's great. Yeah. But, mm. And I mean, also, don't and like you said, don't forget, like they still have Peacock. Like you're still paying. I mean, Peacock isn't that much, but it's what ten, right? It's like ten or eleven. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you add that on for with the with the twenty whatever, twenty three, twenty whatever, and like that that goes up. <laughs> that adds up. Yep. And then you got to watch. And if you want to watch SmackDown, you got to have cable. Like, yeah. Like, there's there's levels to this, man. Like there's. Let's see. I'm I'm completely streaming. I don't have cable at all anymore. I have Hulu Live TV. I have Netflix and stuff like that. But like, even with that, now honestly, anyone that has Hulu Live Live TV knows I'm paying out the ass. <laughs> Bro, I'm Team YouTube TV, and I feel you. Oh yeah, YouTube YouTube TV. Yeah, they they get you too because you got the football package. I I don't, but I I have access to it. Is what there you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah, my buddy has the football package, and like uh, I said, they robbed you with no gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good thing. They robbed you with no gun. <laughs> <laughs> really did. It feels like that sometimes. Um, you know, I, I think like the the other thing I think that I want to get into a little bit is like the business part of this for WWE because right. I think in a way this is a very smart move for WWE. Um, because on one hand, $5 billion, like it's, I know people are saying it sounds like a lot, you know, like, oh my God, they got $5 billion for raw. Like that, that's crazy amount of money. Like that's $500 million a year for, for just raw. It's like, if that was the case, it would be a great deal. Um, but that isn't the case. This is an international streaming deal is what it really is. This isn't. Like, I think framing it as the raw TV deal is just, um, you know, it's just not true. Like, this is a deal that sends raw to Netflix, but it's a deal that sends basically everything else everywhere else other than the United States to Netflix. Like, this is an international streaming deal that WWE made. And I think when you factor that in, like, this was a, 
in my opinion, in my view, this is a good deal for Raw or for WWE. It's a good deal. It's not a great deal. It's not. I, I don't. I don't think it's what they projected it would be. I think you know Nick Khan is saying like, oh well, you know we projected to get two hundred something for Raw and like we got five hundred million. That, that's cap a little bit. Like let's be honest, it's a little bit of cap here. Right, a little bit of cap. Yeah. And, and that's that business. They gotta hype. They gotta hype this shit up because otherwise the stock price isn't gonna go down. Which by the way, TKO stock price when the announcement came out skyrocketed and now it's like yeah it's coming back down a little bit you know <laughs> um that. but yeah i i just wanted to say that and also i do think though it, think about what wwe's done here right no uh, cw nxt you have network tv you have a show on network tv K- you have cable you have smackdown on cable and then you have raw on netflix Trevor, Dude. when their next TV deals are up, there is going to be no better company that has a sense of the future of, of these of these like you know television rights and and what really is going to make the most money than WWE. Right. They literally have their hands in every like single cup here. That's why I think it's like this is like Nick Khan. Say what you want about him, like I I. I detest some of his business strategies as far as like cutting people and, and and cutting costs in his eyes but this is this is like the most consequential hire that wwe's ever made like he is no absolutely changed this company absolutely. forever i i um i question him as a business person and i question him as a human being in certain sense but this this makes sense like like you said like you have streaming you have network you have cable like you you literally have your fingers in all the uh, media soups as they say and like he's he's doing a, he's doing a great job is this smart this is very smart 